Well, good morning, everyone. It is currently on the cusp of 70 degrees, and we are entering the Red Slow wetlands for our first little walk of the morning. We're going to take a couple of short walks around here, do a little bit of cruising, and then as it starts to warm up a lot more, we're heading back west, going to cruise straight in towards the central Oof. Oklahoma area. See if we can't get lucky and pick up an eastern coach whip or a hog nose or a pygmy rattlesnake on the way. While we're out here, of course, one of the things we're hoping for still is mud and swamp snakes. Although during the day, it's a little less likely to find them than during the night. But it's still a possibility. So fingers crossed. It is uh, extremely wet right here. So I've located a snake of some kind. He's coming up on the bank. Or cruising along the edge of the bank, he's hunting. It's a broad banded water, look at that. That's the first one I've seen. So we're gonna wait until he gets closer, if we can. But these guys are quite common through the south, southeast. But this is as far up in Oklahoma as they come. And they are gorgeous animals. There's a big diamondback water snake. Oh, he's in the water. Dang it. Yep, there he goes. Well, it's not a snake, but that's something a little different. Hey, you. It's a little musk turtle of some kind. How cute. That's a first. All right, so the musk turtles are a relatively small group of turtles. They don't get very large, although this is still a very young one. They do get bigger than this. They have very, very big, blocky heads and short, stumpy tails, which we can kind of see under there. I'm not entirely sure which species this is, but I'll have put it up for you on the screen uh, once I key it out for around here. There's a few different varieties throughout the southeast U.S., but they don't make it up to where I live, so this is kind of something new. Anyway, he was crossing the pass, so we'll just help him along. This tiny little species of turtle is also often referred to as a stink pot turtle due to the fact that uh, when they're bothered, they often release a really foul musk, not unlike some of the snakes that I work with. Uh, this guy did not do that, luckily. He was quite calm uh, and cooperative for our video session, and we just moved him across the path. Not quite what I was expecting, but hey, that's a cool thing to see coming out onto the road. A gorgeous rat snake just in time too since there's somebody coming so we need to get him moving off. Hey you, come here. Yeah, yeah. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here. Hi. Oh no, you're okay. Come here. You're okay. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's not a shot I ever expected to get, but uh, you gotta admit, he's got some good aim.
Ow. Hold on, dude. Look at that. All right, so this is an adult western rat snake, Pantheropus obsoletus. We've seen them uh, in previous videos when I came down here last year, but this one might be even bigger than the last adult that I saw, and he's got some nice reds in his sides. Uh, they get more pronounced that color as you head further south into Texas, and then, of course, more black as you head north. This one's about five and a half feet long and ready to go. So we won't bother him too long, just got to get some photos on the other camera real quick. And when you combine uh, these clips with uh, what you'll see in a couple of videos that are coming up later on, uh, it's a good example of just how variable the individual personalities of these snakes can be. This guy really wanted absolutely nothing to do with me, so we didn't hang on to him for very long. But in upcoming videos, you'll see some rat snakes that, yeah, they'll be defensive right when you pick them up. That's natural, of course. But oftentimes, once they realize you're not a threat to them, they'll calm down and hang out. All right, sir. You're going off this way. And there you go. <laughs> you go back in there and see the alligators? Haven't seen any yet. What is that? Is that him? Is that him? It's just hanging out here. Kind of cool, he's just swimming in the water. There he goes. Kind of cool to just watch him, see what he does. Most people won't associate rat snakes with a water dwelling lifestyle, but he's almost as suited for it as the water snakes out here. He's just hanging out in the creek now. That's cool. Here. Let's see if we can say hello before he disappears. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's a big red-eared slider, my goodness. Look at that, ow, ow. Wow, you are a big one. Holy cow. This is a place where they're native, luckily, and not invasive. What a cool guy. Hi, all right, we just wanted to say hi to you for a minute. We'll let you get going again. And there he goes. We've got another unexpected something almost in the right s same spot. A baby cottonmouth. Okay, that is officially the smallest one I've ever seen. So to help this guy along, I might actually need the tweezers because he is barely a foot long. That is the smallest cottonmouth I have ever seen. No, 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 sir. Don't go. You were going the other direction. Hold on. Come this way. We want to get a couple of photos of you first, okay? Come here. That is, well, should be last year's newborn, but he's barely grown at all since then. Hopefully we can get him some, f or he'll get himself some food soon. So tiny, wow. All right, since he's not giving us a whole lot of time. Come here, you. So there are, in fact, cottons out here. Nice to know. Hey, now he's hanging on the hook. Beautiful. So we'll just drop him off over here where he's safe. And hopefully, yep, there he goes. Good. So before we completely leave the uh, Red Slow area, I'm gonna take a walk in some woodland that's over here. Apparently these are locusts that are calling. 
according to the guy who was watching me work with the rat snake. And this is why I really, really dislike colloquial names, especially ones that are completely unrelated to the animals that they've been uh, pinned to. Because as it turns out, this might have actually been an early hatching uh, batch of the periodical cicadas, which I really wanted to uh, document more closely. But since the local called them locusts, and I had never heard that colloquial before, locusts, of course, are grasshoppers to me, uh, I didn't know, and I just took a brief moment to record the sound, and I moved on without looking for the actual cicadas. Never heard this before. How oh, interesting. And there's a funky millipede moving along. Well, it took long enough. We got ourselves a beautiful three-toed box turtle here. Look at that head. What color. And a lot more pattern on the top of the shell than I've seen in a lot of them, so gorgeous animal. He's sitting on a somewhat major thoroughfare, though luckily not heavily traveled. We'll get him off very shortly. Surprised it's taken this long to see one. All right, sir, let's just pick you up. Hi, you doing okay? You look okay. You're very pretty. Now, you Go out here where it's safe, and run away, apparently. An expected sight. Look who's out on the road. A greenie. Hello, sir. You're beautiful. I knew I'd have to see one of these guys out here at some point today. And there he is, all stretched out. What a beautiful little snake. That's our second one this trip. And about the same size, too. Maybe this one's a little bit larger, though not by much. Love the yellow tint right on the head, the lips. All right, we'll make sure he gets off safely. All right, where he was crossing is a great place to demonstrate, too. Once you put him up in the branches, I mean, if you were just walking by, you would never see him unless you were really looking for it. But there he goes. Once he's up in there, he's gone. There's a second one. And I'm dropping my camera. This is a little guy, but he is bright. Wow. Hey, you. It's a little one. We're just going to pick you up and get you across the road, okay? You're so cute. Well, I'm going to get one photo, at least. All right, let's get you over here. See, we're going this way. Here you go. Zoom. And he disappeared. There's a turtle. He's got some interesting colors in his shell. I should photograph that. Hello, sir. You're one of the sliders, and you're just sitting in the middle of the road. You really shouldn't do that, okay? How about gets off the road. Sadly, that turtle would be the last animal that I would see for most of the rest of the afternoon. Uh, I tried stopping by a very interesting environment in southeast Oklahoma that uh, more replicates the kind of dry grassland desert habitat of further west. It's a little highlands area, uh, kind of southeast, south central in the area, uh, has a lot of cacti and a lot of records for things like milk snakes and rattlesnakes. 
Nothing showed up, so I kept heading west where I ran into floods and... So I came down hoping to visit a uh, wildlife refuge and um, turns out this location was the center of a tornado. It uh, was not kind to this area. There used to be a gas station right here. There's nothing anymore. So if you watched a few videos ago, you might remember when I was kind of joking at the end about possibly getting taken out by tornadoes. This was one of the towns that actually was, and there was one person who unfortunately lost their life in this storm. Uh, this was Sulphur, Oklahoma, and it was an EF4 that ran through the direct center of the city and caused immense damage. As I drove on that night too, uh, I got rained out by another storm system that started coming in that would produce tornadoes uh, early that morning further east. Just to not completely end on a low note, Bullfrog, who doesn't want to stick around. Hey you, you should get off the road before somebody squishes you though. Run, run. Go. I said, I go. There he goes. All right, so today, morning actually started off well, evening, not so much. Uh, it was several hours of driving. I missed a big, huge western rat snake that got off the road and two southern black racers, so that, that stings a little bit because I am now out of range of the latter. Uh, and then once I got close to where I'm staying tonight, I decided because I hadn't yet come across a pygmy on the drive over, I would drive about 40 miles further north to try and find one in the area I'm going to start off in tomorrow. Ran into a storm instead. So, drove back south out of the storm uh, where it was warm and nice and, yeah, the bullfrog was about the sum total of the things that I saw, random frogs on the road. but. We still found some cool stuff. The banded water snake, at least, was the first to see in the wild. Hopefully next time we come down, I can actually get one in hand to show you guys up close what they look like, because they are an absolutely beautiful animal. But tomorrow we are starting off uh, just south of Oklahoma City, looking again for that miracle pygmy rattlesnake that's out in the morning to midday. It's possible, we'll see. Uh, and then we're cruising northwest towards the um, great, the high plains again, the open, drier habitat, where great plains rat snakes, blind snakes, uh, milk snakes, and at least a handful of king snakes are still possible. Hognose as well, fingers crossed, because that one is still the eastern hognose. It's still on the list. But until then, if you enjoy watching educational videos and adventures like this, uh, do keep watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel, turn on the black bell so you don't miss anything. Like the videos, watch all the way through because those watch hours are really important for the channel. And leave comments below if you have thoughts or questions and so on. Uh, do be polite though. If you'd like to find more information, uh, you can always find uh, the files in the database or the articles that I write on my blog at carltoncarnivores.com. Both of those are accessible there. I'm always posting photos, little video tidbits and such on uh, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, TikTok at Carlton Carnivores. And if you have means to help support in a more financial manner, uh, consider joining as a patron at patreon.com slash hcarlton. Members there do get extra benefits back, uh, including early access to the videos, seed contests, ex uh, exclusive merch, or you can donate at coffee. And you can also buy plants, and if you're looking for a new pet, sometimes baby snakes, at carltoncarnivores.com as well. There's also our merch shop at Teespring. All the links for these things will be in the video description below. Until next time, though, I'm Hawk and Carlton, and this is Carlton Carnivores. Carlton Carnivores.